Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel! Today we are back with another video for you guys. We will talk about how you can launch a product by following these marketing strategies. New product launches are quite difficult. There's a lot of work involved in research, development, testing, and manufacturing before you can move on to marketing, which is why people might put it off. Marketing and advertising to the right target audience are some of the most crucial parts of any successful product launch. It is necessary to have the right strategic framework in place to capture the right market. One of the most underrated aspects of marketing is an online marketing strategy. Not only can it help establish your brand, but it will also ideally increase your sales. So it is crucial for you to incorporate it in your product strategy as well. Here are a few ways in which you can frame your strategies for a product launch. Number one, find the right product to launch. Product development is an important process that starts with launch preparation. You have to make sure that the product that you're planning to create and launch is the right one that is of value to the market. A product launch is guaranteed failure if you design it wrong from the start. It is important to spend time developing the right product. Once you are confident it's ready, you can go into a successful launch. Number two, analyze the competition. With a lot of competition out there, it can be hard to keep up. Understanding your competitors' offerings is a good way to figure out what you might need to do in order to stay on top. Try to compile a list of all companies who sell products like yours and compare their marketing materials. When it comes to advertisement and marketing, you need to ask yourself, is your product distinct from other similar products? How are you different from your competitors? What do they do better than you? By going through these questions, you can find how you can compete with them. Next comes targeting the right customers. When it comes to a product launch, the success of your campaign all depends on attracting customers who will be interested in your business and who you can profit from. So make sure to think about the customers you want to approach and find out as much as you can about them beforehand. You would want to know about people who use similar products because they are the ones who would be most interested in what you have to offer. It's important to highlight the ways in which your product is unique and superior to those of the competitors in order to grab their attention. Then comes defining your value proposition. A value proposition is a way to tell your potential customers why they should buy from you instead of your competitors. You do this by explaining why you have the best product to meet their specific needs. Identifying some of the key features of your product can make a tremendous difference in its desirability. If it's easy to see why this is a good solution, people may be more inclined to use it. Taking a different approach from the rest is most likely the best strategy for you. What sets you apart from your competitors is most likely what will draw in your target audience. The next strategy is marketing and advertising. Marketing plans can take up much time and energy for your product launch strategy. The world of marketing is changing. The new era of marketing is about telling the story of the brand in a more intimate way with messages that are more personal and relevant to your customers. It is definitely a key aspect of any business, and especially when it comes to modern digital marketing. Creating content that matches your brand values is always important. This way, people will always know what you stand for and how you work. A good story will capture the customer's attention and make them feel like your company is built around what they need. It should also highlight why this product is different from the competition. This is not as easy as it sounds. It happens oftentimes that businesses miss the part where they are supposed to tailor the marketing and advertising strategies from a customer's point of view. Try to identify your customer's pain points and what your product can do for them. Also, make sure you emphasize how great it is at providing the benefits to the customers without focusing too much on the idea of just selling the product. Following this, you can test your marketing strategy. You may have heard about product testing, but marketing testing can also be a valuable source of insights. Not only will you learn if the advertising has reached the right audience, but you will discover customer experience as well. 
Holding focus groups and informal roundtable discussions with your potential customers is a great way to get some feedback about your marketing materials and visual content. You might also want to try conducting A-B testing on the various promotional channels, such as social ads and emails. After completing the testing process, you can move forward with the marketing campaign. This will give you a chance to discard what isn't resonating with the consumer's tastes and continue building on what your consumers want. Next, try to choose the right channels to market your product. A lot of factors come into play when you are trying to figure out the channels which work best for you. But the possibilities are endless with social media, email, and video marketing. By determining your target audience and goals first, you'll be able to pick the strategy that will work best for you. One of Facebook's most advanced advertising platforms is its advanced targeting capabilities. You can choose from various intuitive filters to pinpoint the exact audience your marketing efforts are going to. Video content is a great way to pen down your story and share your message. It also helps the marketing reach to expand in an inexpensive way, which can be advantageous for small businesses. Combining social media marketing with video production is a great way to take things up a notch. Lastly, plan your product launch. We want to emphasize that you don't need to be big or extravagant in your launch. You will need to thoughtfully plan for your product releases. For example, you can plan how to release information accurately, who will share your story and at what time, the social media site you should use, etc. With these methods, you can generate awareness and produce buzz for your product launch. You don't need big departments of marketers and PR professionals for the product launch. You need to strategize accurately and convey the information to the right target audience so that they're interested in what you have to offer. These interested consumers are the ones who will generate the buzz for your product through word of mouth marketing. That's all for today's video. Hope you liked it and found it useful. Please don't forget to support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Comment down if you want to see more videos like these. Don't tune out just yet. Check out the description because we have some amazing freebies and links just for you. And if you're up for more video from us, check out the two videos that is popping up on the screen right now.